Defensively, he's good at getting the line organised, especially on your try line. Offensively, Miani just needs a little bit of space and he does the rest. So, yeah, he's the greatest fullback I've played alongside. The kick is perfect. Sailor's over. Sailor's in the corner. Coming from the backfield, so big and strong and, you know, he's, he's great under the high ball. And, yeah, he's, he's you know, definitely a big body there. There's the chance they've been looking for. The Maninga. The Maninga gets the try. Leads from the front and inspires those around him. So um, I've obviously seen that firsthand when he was the coach, but didn't actually have the chance to play alongside him, obviously. But you say jump, I say how high. That's how much respect I've got for him. Thurston goes out. Here's Greg Inglis looking for 17, and he gets it. Without him in our side, I don't think we would have had that streak like we did. Uh, he just could find a way to the trial line and win us the game, or he'd create opportunities for us to ice the game. So, yeah, such a big body and, you know, just give him the ball and watch him do the rest. Here comes Takiri. He's got it. Lovely Takiri has scored another Origin try. Another big body. Uh, scored a lot of tries in Origin as well. Him and Dell bringing it out in the backfield. Uh, that's what you need. Two big bodies there. That's what I like. He was an idol of mine, and to get the opportunity to play alongside him, I was like a kid in a candy shop. So he was, you know, five, six, seven sets ahead of everyone else on the field. And um, when you needed the big moments, uh, you just give him the ball. Lang up, danger, danger. Lang is over, is he? Yes. Lang gets a try. He's one of the greatest halves ever. He inspires those around him. His short kicking game, his running game, and he's obviously a character around the team, and that's what you want in your team because State of Origin is so much pressure. The build-up is enormous, and uh, you need a player like Alfie to keep it light-hearted and uh, relaxed. First and first, seven receiver second. I just always felt safe when Petro was on my side. I knew he was going to get us on the front foot, and I knew he was going to be aggressive defensively, and that's what I liked. He was going to give you a seven, eight out of ten every time he, you know, strapped the boots on. And Cameron Smith goes over. The captain has scored. Like I mentioned Lockie being six, seven sets ahead of everyone else. Smithy's like nine, ten. Uh, there's no one better. He can turn and match. He knows how to speed the game up. He knows how to slow it down. And yeah, he's the greatest player I've ever played alongside. This is the moment they've been waiting for here at Lang Park for 35-year-old Arthur Beetson to wear a maroon jersey. Obviously, I didn't get to see much of him play, but um, when he led the team out in 1980 with all the chalk over him, it's just such a, an iconic image of, of State of Origin at 35 years of age. He is like the godfather of State of Origin. Without him, um, it wouldn't be what it is. Kronk goes to Fiday. Fiday's in the score. He was always aggressive with the ball and without the ball, and. He had a really good combination with Lockie and Billy as well, with an out-ball, in-ball. So, yeah, with the ball, he was very handy. And Hodgson around to Carey. Hodgson lassoed by Tallis. Look at Tallis. Look at Tallis. He drags him over and out of the rectangular ring. I didn't actually get the chance to play alongside Gordy, but um, you speak to those that played alongside him, and if he had that look in his eye, you knew you weren't going to lose. Lewis makes his way up, Billy has got some pace. Lewis, can he go on the way? Eight men in the matches, you know, his record speaks for itself and it would have been a, a lot of fun back in the days playing alongside with someone like uh, the King and he led from the front and the rest have followed. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fair team. Oh, shot miles. Again, just aggressive uh, with the ball and, and especially defensively, very underrated, but deserves a lot of the accolades. Playing in the halves, you need men like that around you and um, he was one of the best at that. I was thinking if an outside back went down, uh, we could chuck him in there. If a back row went down, I could chuck him in the back row as well. But yeah, you know, he's played over 20 games of origin, uh, knows what it takes to, to win big games. Twice is running over the halfway line. He's still going. Now Tahu comes at him. He beats him again. He was the captain at the Bulldogs while I was there and led from the front. And uh, that didn't change till the day he retired. So he doesn't have an aggressive style, but you know when he was taking those hit ups up, he'd create ruck speed for you. And again, defensively, he could come out of the line and put shots on. Cooper's gone for a long range shot. Oh, oh it's got plenty oh. of distance. My goodness gracious me, what a kick! A very articulate football brain, and he could play a great bench role as well. And I think coaching will be his role down the track. That's for sure.
You need a, a coach there that knows how to manage people, knows how to bring a group together and play for each other and certainly play for the state.